Hey everybody, this is Eric Hatch with Hatch Realty and I'm bringing you something that gets me so excited and that is market stats. Maybe it's not awesome for you, but for me, I am jacked to learn about what's happened in the market. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at the Fargo-Moorhead area and we're gonna take January 2021 and compare it with January 2020 and see how do these two years compare. Last year to this year has been a very, very big swing. Who'd have thunk it, but the pandemic has made a major impact on the real estate industry in a lot of ways, a positive one. Now, let's first talk about absorption rate. That's a foreign term for most people that aren't realtors, but here's what it means is if no more houses get on the market today, they don't list another property, what happens to that inventory? How many months will it take based on buyer demand to sell that inventory? January, 2020, that took three and a half months. So that's, in, in layman's terms, that's still a seller's market, but it's not like an absurd seller's market. Fast forward to now, and we have under two months of inventory. This is the lowest inventory based on the absorption rate that I have ever seen. And I've been a licensed realtor for over 15 years. That's something to take note of. The second thing is the average sales price, because you would make the assumption that the average sales price is through the roof based on the buyer demand that I just articulated. And it's not. That's the shocking thing to me, is that I would think that the prices are massively increased, but last year the average sales price was $246,000, and this year is $255,000. That's less than a 4% increase in annual value. Shocking to me. Bum, bum, bum. It's that mind-blowing because the average appreciation of a property is 4.22% as desired by the federal government. And we appreciate it just a smidge less than that. So yes, if you are a buyer right now, you may have some opportunity to capitalize on a low interest rate. You maybe are going to have to compete to win that, but it's not going to be as inflated as it is in other markets. In fact, I have some friends in markets like Seattle and Denver, and their homes are seeing multiple offer situations where people are fighting for these deals. We're talking 50 to 75 offers on a single property, and a $400,000 home is oftentimes selling for over $500,000. That's $100,000 over the asking price. They're waiving inspections and appraisals, and they are simply getting themselves into some trouble. Here in the Fargo-Moorhead area is not so much trouble. I'm relieved to say that to you all. Now, there's some other things that have drastically impacted our market as we look at this sexy, sexy stat. First off, let's look at the active listings. Last year, 2020, compared to this year, 2021, there's 35% less active listings. There's no inventory. If you're looking for that sweet spot, if you're Sally homeowner and you want to move up to be Sally new homeowner, well, if you sell your property and move up to that next echelon, what you're gonna see is here, you're gonna have an awesome, awesome opportunity to sell your home at top dollar. And then you move up, this next move up will probably be something north of $350,000 or so. When you move up to that next echelon, hot diggity dog, there you can capitalize on where there isn't as much buyer demand, meaning you won't overpay for a property. Now with 35% less inventory on the market, we can also look to see that there is so many homes that are being sold. In fact, we have 24.5% more homes that sold in January 2021 versus January 2020 almost a 25% increase in home sales, or a 35% decrease in listings. That chasm is riddled with opportunity if you're a home seller. So let me summarize this and put it in layman's terms. Let's say your name is Cody. As a Cody, you're thinking, I want to go and buy a house for the first time. You have opportunity. Interest rates are low. Prices aren't super inflated. There, there's opportunity out there. Problem is there's a lot of other buyers looking for what you're looking for. That average sales price of under $250,000 or around 255, dollars that's a hot market, so you're gonna have to fight. Now let's say your name is Tony. You're a homeowner that owns that $250,000 house that's gonna sell to Cody. You're gonna buy a $400,000 house. Well, there's your opportunity. Cody's gonna pay you top dollar for your place, and then you're gonna go and capitalize on a market that is a little bit more soft. Finally, now you're that $400,000 homeowner, and let's say your name is Emily. Emily has that $400,000 home, and what does she do? 
there's a good chance she's probably going to build and get everything that she wants in that next build if she's a move up buyer. Building processes take months. And in order to do that, yes, you're going to pay top dollar, but you get everything that you're looking for. See, there's huge opportunity right now for everybody that's out there. Emily can capitalize on super low interest rates. She'll get a quality offer from Tony. Tony's living in the sweet spot where he is both a seller and a buyer in that right price range. And Cody gets to capitalize on a market that is ripe with opportunity, even though there's competition. So the question is, how's the market? It's pretty good.